Well then guys, just quickly to interject here, this is actually a re-upload, and I know you're probably thinking what a scumbag thing to do. This m movie review, when it was initially released, was blocked for copyright in a lot of countries, so not a lot of people have seen this. Uh, and as a result of fighting the copyright claim, it's been removed, which means it can now be viewed again, which means I can re-upload it, if that makes any sense. So that's why it's a re-upload. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it all the same, but this is my retrospective review of Dread, Carl Urban's 2012 Dread. First things first, the film opens with some minor explanation of the universe and then it stops. That's it. It gets right into the action straight away. This is an incredibly good thing. All too often we get ridiculously large amounts of exposition which takes up valuable time away from the story and what we actually want to see. Dread gives you the universe as is. It doesn't expect you to know it or explain itself. It simply gives you the universe and says, here it is. Enjoy the spectacle. We as viewers get it. We know we're watching a movie. We want to see the film and the story unfold. I don't need 30 minutes of someone telling me the world's beginnings and why I'm watching this movie. So we open on Judge Dredd, patrol and chasing down some perps, and it sets the standard straight away. Ultra-violent, gritty, gory, and no holes barred. Yes, the film has 3D and heavy slow motion. However, it's worked into the film in a way which is actually unintrusive and makes sense within the universe they created. There is a drug on the loose in Mega City 1, slow-mo, which tricks the brain into thinking time is moving at a slow pace. Enter our slow motion scenes mixed with 3D. Superb way to integrate it and the right way. I hate 3D. I don't think it adds anything to movies and largely detracts from the viewing experience. However, if you're going to do it, then take a lesson from Dread, as they did it right. So essentially, we follow Dread chasing down these perps and into a mega block. Basically, an apartment block that houses the equivalent of a city's population. We get our introduction of Judge Cassandra Anderson, who is a psychic. Now, a lot of people would pretty quickly judge this and say, that's weird, what the hell is that doing in this gritty, dark world? Well, if you know anything about the comics, it makes sense. Also, Anderson serves as a bounce-off point for Dredd's character, which is important when dealing with a character with subtleties such as Judge Dredd. Their mission? Get to the top of this apartment block and take down the Mama clan. Incidentally, the manufacturers of slow-mo. The apartment block is on lockdown and Mama, played by Lena Headey, wants the judges killed. It's all out mayhem and you could liken the film's premise to the raid, rising up through the block with an onslaught of attacks and gunfire. Carl Urban's dread was superb and to some he is the judge dread that they pictured from the comics. Oh, and he kept his helmet on. Olivia Thirlby's Anderson is close to the comics, however, she misses a lot of the attitude the comic character has. Although I will say, when we meet her in this film, she is a rookie, so it could be explained that way. The way these two bounce off one another is great. We have our super serious stony-faced man of the law combined with a psychic rookie in training. The beauty of Judge Dredd from the comics and what they captured here in comparison to the Stallone movie is that Judge Dredd is not a superhero. He is a man of the law, upholding it to the letter and will dispense justice unflinchingly. He is widely known, but he is not a superhero. Stallone unfortunately attempted to turn Judge Dredd into some hero-esque figure, which simply doesn't work. They also used the wrong person for his character to bounce off, Rob Schneider. The movie is essentially all action with a very small story arc for Anderson and it works. There is no grand threat, no world breaking risks and I like that. Not everything has to be about saving the world and you can have a simple standalone story set within a wider universe. It's something that I think Batman would benefit from massively. The action is visceral, brutal and very much in keeping with the comic. The way Judge Dredd acts is as well. The way the movie unfortunately begins to stray from the comics is the aesthetic. It's very realistic. The colour palette they use lacks all vibrance and colour that the comics does. The uniforms are ultra realistic as if real riot police would wear them. However, I will say this is not to the movie's detriment. It stands alone as its own separate universe and they did a superb job. Everything they did established an almost realistic look into the future. 
Overall, I genuinely enjoyed this film. I rate it very highly and it's easily one of my favourites. It knows what it is and it doesn't hide behind false pretenses. It's a brutal action movie with a simple story and plot to follow. You can dive into the Judge Dredd universe and get an instant feel for the character without needing to read hundreds of comics. If you haven't seen the film, then you really are missing out. This is something I would recommend to anyone who is into action movies, films that have superb visuals, and also just anyone that enjoys a good popcorn flick. However, if you have seen the movie, do you agree with any of what I've said? Is Carl Urban your dread or is Stallone? Let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comment section, and if you're a Judge Dredd fan, then maybe check out my 2000 AD playlist where I dive into this universe from the comics perspective. If you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving it a like and subscribing to the channel for more in the future. I've been Mr. H, and until next time, I'll catch you in the comments section.